Have you ever run into the situation where you wanted to have a design you created in Canva in a different format? I had this issue the other day with a client of mine. I had presented their data for their video marketing campaign in the form of a PDF. They loved it, but they also wanted it in PowerPoint format. In the past, you would have had to copy and paste and it would have taken a while to take one design in one size and transfer it to another. You can do this in a matter of minutes within Canva 2.0 and I'm going to show you how to do that today. If you would like access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, visit LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So in an effort to keep my client's information private, I decided to use the report format that I created for them and I threw in some placeholder text and my actual stats for my Unsplash account. So just for fun, guys, I have reached over 33 million views for my stock photos on Unsplash. So again, if you haven't signed up for the VIP vault, some of my images are in there for free. And I think it's an awesome opportunity for you to add some diversity to your stock photos. So here is the report format within Canva. And if you see in the top left corner, you're going to see home, file, and resize. Resize is something that is exclusively to Canva 2.0. So again, in the past, if I wanted to take all of this information and present it on a different size template page, I would have had to create one from scratch and copy and paste. So if you want to take a design and transfer it to a different size, click on resize, and you'll see a bunch of different options. So this isn't just for PDF to PowerPoint. This could be a Facebook post graphic to a Twitter post graphic, or you could go from a Twitter post graphic to a Facebook cover. So what you need to select on the left-hand side of the screen is what are you trying to turn this design into? So in this case, I'm trying to turn a PDF that is an eight and a half by 11 template into a presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can either resize it within the actual design file or you can copy and resize. I am famous for modifying the wrong files in Canva and everything being gone. So I would recommend to copy and resize. When you do that, it's going to take the exact content of your design copy it and reopen it in the correct format, which is mind blowing. I mean, this saves so much time. So as you can see, everything copied over and it copies over centered on the template. However, it doesn't magically resize all of the text. Now, maybe in different templates, maybe going from Facebook to Instagram, maybe less of a journey, um, but going from PDF to a PowerPoint presentation, obviously this is not taking up the entire slide. So what I would start out with is resizing your shapes. So on the left-hand side, I've got this shape here. So I'm just gonna drag it. And really all we're trying to do is to recreate the look of the PDF. And it's going to give you those guidelines so you can make sure everything stays centered. But I'm just gonna start with resizing the shapes and you can also make it smaller because when it comes to the shapes you know that's not something you need to actually read so there we go so that's that and we're going to make it about 75 percent again all right so now we're looking at the text so this is what i love to do in terms of the text what i'm going to do is i'm going to click and drag and in this case these items are already grouped. If your items aren't grouped, click, highlight them, and group them over here. So I'll ungroup so you can see what I mean. So when they are ungrouped, these are separate elements. But if I click and drag and group them, here is the magical thing that happens. So if I wanted this at the top of the presentation, I'm gonna go over here and all I would have to do is click and drag. 
So when they're grouped, it's a whole lot easier for you to resize the text. So let's say we're gonna leave this over here. Then maybe this we want grouped. So we'll click and drag that. That's awesome. Over here, this is already grouped, great. Click and drag that. All right, so things are looking good here, but now we need to relocate these items. So again, I'm gonna click and drag. If it is not grouped, group it. And then you can move all the elements here, same thing. Click and drag, I'm gonna group it. And so now that both of these are grouped, I can easily click and drag click and drag. Guys, this is so much faster than the way it used to be. So this is one of the improvements that was made in 2.0 that I am so, so, so in favor of. So again, you don't even have to worry about clicking on the individual text and resizing. You can just say, once it's grouped, click and drag, my friends, click and drag. Now the last thing here at the bottom this was um, on the left-hand side of that PDF. Maybe I want it on the left-hand side of the slide. And with the text being that big, perhaps I'll fine-tune it and make it a size 16. Literally, guys, in a matter of minutes, I took this PDF and turned it into a PowerPoint slide. Now, the other thing that's awesome, and I'll show you this just by duplicating the slide, so we have a couple slides here. You can, when you click on this arrow up top, you can save it as PNGs, and in the past, what I would have done is save it as PNGs and then make the slides background images on PowerPoint. But as you can see, in beta mode, you can actually create a PowerPoint directly in Canva. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click on Microsoft PowerPoint. It's got both pages, which is really just a duplicate of that first page. And then we're gonna click download. So literally within a matter of moments, and you can see the file type over here, I have turned a PDF, Adobe PDF, into a Microsoft PowerPoint file. So especially within the small business and nonprofit world where your time is so, so limited, this easy, magical resize tool is going to save you a ton of time. So I don't usually say this, but I would tell you guys, share this video. Let people know if they are used to using Canva and they're doing it the long way by copying and pasting when they wanna change the size of their templates tell them to just look in that top left corner. That feature is there and it will save you so much time. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can visit about90marketing.com slash get social. Once you're there, you'll be able to sign up for a free 15 minute consultation to see if I can help you with your marketing needs. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe because I teach people how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now. Hey guys, I rarely do this, but I realized you might not have the option to download it as a PowerPoint presentation by the time that you watch this video. That feature is currently in beta mode and it is exclusively for the Canva certified creatives. So if you go to download and you don't have that option, I wanted to give you a quick little hack to hold you over in the meantime. So when we did download as a PDF, it did create that PowerPoint presentation. You can see the two slides over here. And when you click on um, view slideshow, everything looks great, so that's good to go. So if you don't have that feature, when you do get it, it's gonna be awesome. In the meantime, here's what you can do. So you can go to download and you can select PNG, which is going to give you a high quality image. Select the slides that you want to export. So for the purpose of this, we're just going to download the first page. When you do that, it's going to create 
one slide image with everything on it. You'll go into a blank PowerPoint presentation. And if you have any of that, you know, click here to add your title nonsense, you can right click, hover over layout and just select blank. So that's gonna give you a blank slide. Then what you do is right click again, hit format background and it will pull this up, which gives you options of what you can make this background. Click on picture or texture fill. Then you're going to find that slide image. So I have everything saved on my desktop to make it easy to find. And so we're gonna find that slide image, double click on it, and then that will become your slide. So as you can see, it gives you the same look and feel of what we have here. You just don't have the individual elements. So that is a little hack that you can use to hold yourself over while you're waiting to get that feature. And as you can see, everything looks wonderful. It's easy to read, it's not fuzzy. So here is a little hack just in case you don't have that feature. So if you haven't subscribed and you've gotten this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe because I'm looking out for you guys. Again, I'm going to help you to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you have ideas for other videos that you would like for me to create, let me know in the comments or if you just wanna say something really nice. If you wanted to say, wow, thank you so much for coming back and recording this piece of the video to make sure that I was empowered and equipped to do what I needed to do to go to the next level in my business or in my nonprofit, that'd be awesome. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content here. You're going to see more videos where I will do Squarespace tutorials, Canva tutorials, and we're going to start doing some app reviews because now some sponsors have reached out with some awesome, awesome tools to help you guys to leverage your time. So I look forward to coming back and sharing all that information with you. But until next time, seriously, to talk for now.